Hey you, I'm celebrity menswear stylist Ashley Weston, joined by my husband, Dorian. Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about the best jeans for your body type. But before we do that, if you are not following us on Instagram, you are missing out. We post daily outfit inspiration photos, including jeans obviously, <laughs> that will make sure you look your best and you've got great outfit suggestions as well as tagged brands so you can pick up those items easily and quickly. So check it out if you aren't following already. And if you're still unsure at the end of this video what kind of jeans work for you or maybe there's a brand out there that you were thinking about but just had a question and you wanted to text us, well, definitely shoot us a text and we will be sure to answer your question and any of your style related questions. So before we get into it though, here's one thing you need to understand. Every single brand of jeans in the history of jeans has different sizing and measurements based on a whole host of variables that you just cannot account for. So literally, regardless of your height, your stature, whether you're big, thin, tall, short, you're going to have to do a little bit of work to determine the best jeans for you. So no matter your body type, there are four specific characteristics or things you need to look out for in regard to how your jeans fit in order to find the best jeans for you possible. First is the rise of your jeans. So this is from the bottom of the crotch all the way up to the top of your waistband. Now there are three types of rises, low, mid, and high rise. And second is the color, which is also referred to as the wash of the jean. And next is the cut. So that's gonna be how your pants are gonna fit in the thighs and calf and ankle region. Now. There are a couple different types of cuts going from, we'll just go from the tightest all the way to the loosest. So there's skinny, slim, for the most part it'll be straight fit, relaxed, loose, and those are generally your types of fits that you're gonna see out there. Every brand kind of slight variations on those words, but that's pretty much how it goes. And lastly, you wanna look out for the break of your jeans. So that's gonna be how much extra material is gonna be around your ankles when you have your shoes on. Now, there are a couple different types of breaks. There is a no break, which is basically where your jeans just touch the top of your shoe. Then there is a slight break, so it's gonna touch the top of your shoe a little bit more where it creates a little divot. And then there is a full break, a little more generous room. And then there is stacking, which is just a ton of material bunched at the ankle. So before we get into the details, just know that in this video we're talking about larger guys, and that means if you're larger because you're just kind of husky, or if you're large because you're built and more muscular. You guys are gonna have kind of the same issues, so that's why we're grouping you guys together. And in regard to the rise of your jeans, you wanna stick with a low to mid rise because that's really gonna help just make sure your torso doesn't look even bigger than it is. And if you carry weight in the lower half of your body, again, it's gonna keep you nice and balanced and proportional with the rest of your body. Okay, so let's talk about the color of your jeans. So again, I mean, it doesn't matter if you are muscular or if you are just carrying some weight up top or in your thigh area. Now you wanna stick with a dark wash jean. A uniform color like this is really going to complement your body type. And especially like if you wanna go darker, you can. So a dark gray or even a black, it's really gonna complement your entire body. Now, the one thing I would avoid is anything lighter than a medium blue. So, and that includes white. White I mean, jeans off the table for you guys entirely. Yes, because that's going to make you either look super just like top heavy where you're, you have a really big torso or it's gonna make your thighs just look thunderous. <laughs> like basically you have thunderous thighs. I so, hope that's not no. the goal you're going for, but if it is, okay, then wear white all day long, but that's not gonna make you look proportional. And so that's why you wanna avoid that. And as far as fading goes, avoid it because usually fading is in the thigh region or the butt or back of thigh area and that's really going to make your thighs look wider than they are again it's about keeping your lower half of your body proportional to your upper half and we want to be able to show it off in the best way possible and fading is not going to do it moving on to the fit or the cut of your jeans categorically you cannot wear anything that is slim Sorry. Slim or skinny. Slim, okay. <laughs> Slim and skinny. Let's put it that way. So anything painted on for you guys, whether you're muscular or just husky, no, 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 don't do it. What that's going to do is make your upper half look significantly larger and wider than your lower half. And again, we're all about proportions. So I hope you're not trying to look like Humpty Dumpty with this big upper half and these little tiny legs underneath. That you want to avoid entirely. 
And even if you do carry like muscle in your booty area or your thighs or your calves, again, you wanna avoid the painted on jeans. And even a slim fit jean will be painted on with you because you just carry more bulk there. And that's not gonna show off your body in the best way possible. So for husky or muscular guys, instead you wanna go with a straight leg because that's gonna give you a little bit more room in the butt, thigh, and calf region. And it's all right to have a little bit of taper from the knee down to the ankle. You just don't want a severe taper because again, that's gonna create that Humpty Dumpty effect, which you don't want. So the quick and easy way to determine if your jeans fit you properly is you wanna be able to pinch no more than one to two inches on either side of your thigh, middle of the thigh, and you want that same amount of being able to pinch on either side of your calf. And when it comes to the leg opening or the ankle, you wanna go anywhere between two to three inches, three being the max, two being the minimum, and that will look perfect on you regardless of whether you're a husky or muscular guy. Let's talk about the break of your jeans. So with your build, you wanna go with a slight or full break because this is gonna help break up your wider proportions and add a little bit more dimension to your body. And as far as cuffing the bottom of your jeans, unless you're going for a very specific look or you're wearing boots, then you should avoid it altogether because it's actually gonna make your legs look short and stubby, which is not proportional no matter if you're tall or short. It's just gonna make you look a little bit off, so avoid that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.